If you're like me, you probably have what I call a photo pile. You know, loose photos and envelopes and albums that are all scattered around in your house. And if you don't take time to get organized and to stay organized, you're going to wind up with another photo pile, but this time in your computer. There's a great place to store your pictures in your computer and two ways that you can organize your digital picture files as you scan. We can locate this folder by clicking on the Start button, then click on Pictures or My Pictures in the Start menu's right column. A window will open and show you the contents of your picture folder. The Pictures folder is a default search location for any other program that can use photos, like if you want to insert a picture into a Word document, or if you want to upload a photo to an online print service. The School of Hard Knocks has taught me it's really not a good idea to store hundreds of loose pictures into one folder because it becomes really difficult to locate one specific picture amongst hundreds of images. I've found it best to group similar pictures into their own folders and name the folders with a simple description. To create a folder, open pictures or any folder. Place the cursor so that no file or folder is selected. Then right mouse click. Select New, then Folder, and a new folder will appear. The folder's name will be highlighted for you to type in a name. So what is a good name for a folder? Keep in mind that Windows sorts files first by numerals, then by characters. I came up with a file and folder naming style that works like this. I start the file name by dating the picture with four digits. The year, then the month. Then I'm going to type in several keywords that basically describe the picture. As an example, I have a dozen photographs from Christmas of 1995. First, I'm going to date the picture 95 for 1995 and 12 for December. Next, I'm going to type in several words to describe the event. And in this case, it's Christmas morning home. For my day-to-day -day family photos, I use the same naming style as file names, the year, the month, and a couple of keywords. For family history photos, I create folders by family line, such as the Krugers. Folders can be nested inside folders. I created a main Kruger folder and folders for individuals and branches inside this main folder. As a time saver and a way to keep things organized, you can save pictures as you scan to an existing folder or to a new folder. Once I start my Epson scanning software, I click on Customize, then File Save Settings. If I click on Other, I can select an existing folder or create and name a new folder. Click on the Browse button, click on Libraries, then click on My Pictures. I am scanning photos from Christmas 1995, so I'll click on the existing 1995 Christmas folder. If you have a group of pictures and want to save them to their own folder, click on Other, then Browse, Libraries, then Pictures. Click on the Make a New Folder tab. A new folder will be created for you to name. More than likely, your scanner will name digital picture files with the word image and a number. A great way to get organized is to create your own descriptive file names that will be applied as you scan. Now, my scanning rig software lets me do this. I click on Customize and I see a File Save Setting button. And in this panel, there's a box that will let me type in my own file names. And a trick I learned is to type in an extra space after the last word. 
Now as I scan, my software will use this unique file name and add a consecutive number at its end. And the scanner will use this file name until I change it. This file name style has two distinct advantages. First, Windows will sort any pictures in any folders by the date, then by the keywords. Second, the picture files now become searchable by those keywords. I'm a family historian, and I have hundreds of photos of my ancestors. When I scan, I use a naming style that starts with the last name, then the first names of anyone in the pictures. To search, click on your Start button. At the bottom of the window is a box that you can type in whatever keywords you may have used to name your files. I'll type in the names of my great-great-grandparents James and Sarah Green. The search begins and the list refines. If I place the cursor on one of the digital picture files and give it a right mouse click, a pop-up window will appear. Select Open File Location and the folder containing the pictures will open. If you need to correct, change, or expand the name of a file or folder, right-click on the file or folder, select Rename, then type in the new file name or folder name.